Nicole Elliott with Studio Elliott Focus. Thanks for joining me today. I am going to talk about how to make money in photography, how to sell your pictures. Um, and I'm in my office, the perfect place to be. This is where I communicate with my clients. This is where I set up my shoots. This is my calendar. This is my editing room. This is my life right here. So it was just fitting for me to photograph it in that space. So you're a photographer or you want to be a photographer. You have a DSLR camera. You've taken pictures of family and friends and maybe a couple of people have asked you to do shoots for them, but you're still feeling like you have no idea what you're doing and you don't know how to create a business out of your passion. Well, I want to help you with that. I want to give you the foundation to learn to do it right and well the first time and not go back around and just wish you would have done it different from the get-go. And so I want to give you those tools, those techniques to be able to do it right the first time. So how do you sell your stuff? You know, I am just, I love sales. I've always loved sales. But a lot of times people ask me, I would like to do in-person sales, but I am so freaked out about sales. I am not a salesperson is what they'll say. And what I say to that is, as long as you're passionate, passionate about what you're selling, you can sell anything. All sales is, is a transference of emotion. Okay, if you can make somebody feel the way you feel about that thing, you'll sell it to them. That's all sales is, okay? So it's just, and, and if you're a photographer, then you've got to have some sort of passion. And you should have a lot of passion. Um, passion is going to be what takes you through the highs and the lows because trust me, there will be a lot of points within this crazy business entrepreneurial photography journey of yours where you're going to want to quit. And that passion for what you do, that love of photography, that love of capturing and freezing a moment in time and having it frozen forever, that is what's going to take you through all of those hard times. So that passion is what you tap into to sell from. Okay. And here's the deal. No matter what, you are going to have to sell yourself, whether you do in-person sales, whether you sell it online, whether you're just doing a CD, a DVD, a USB drive, emailing, whatever it is, however you're going to deliver these pictures, bottom line, you're going to have to sell yourself to your client, okay? Why, why should someone spend money on you rather than the other 5,000 photographers in your area? What is so special about you? What's going to set you apart from them? You have to know that because that is what's going to, that's what, those are, that's the thought process you're going to need to have figured out in your head to be able to communicate your services effectively to people. Okay. And you cannot hide behind just, well, go check out my website or go, I'll send you this link or I'll email you this thing. At some point, you're going to have to talk to your client. And the more you can talk to them, the better. Because here's the deal. Photography is a commodity. Photography and photography images, they're commodities. There is, if you can do it, someone else can do it too. That's just what it is. We're all using the same cameras. We're all using the same equipment. So what sets you apart? I'll tell you what sets you apart. You. You set you apart. You set you apart. Okay? So you're going to have everybody else can buy the exact same equipment that you have. So, and they can go to the exact same courses that you go to. But all of you will produce different images. Why? Because each one of you are different and each one of you are unique. So if you fail to present yourself in front of your client and you just keep sending them, oh, go to this link, go to this email, I'll shoot you this text, okay, this is the day that we're doing it, and you never have a phone conversation with them or you never ever meet them in person, at the very least have a phone conversation with them, then who are you? Why are you any different from anybody else pre-shoot? Okay, because 
people will get to know you afterwards. They'll get to know your imagery. They'll get to see what you did of them afterwards. But th you've already got them at that point. It's the hustle before you get them that's so important. You have a beautiful image on your website. Well, there's 10,000 more beautiful images on everybody else's website. And I'm not saying this to, to tell you what you have isn't valuable because what you have is valuable, but I'm wanting to hone in on the fact that you as a person, you as an artist, that artistry that only you have, you, insert your name, have, okay? Me, nobody else is a Nicole Elliott. There are other Nicole Elliotts, as in the name, because it's such a common name, but nobody else is me. Nobody else has that creative spirit that I bring to my images, and nobody else has that persona that I have. And you don't have to be this outgoing, big, bubbly personality. You just have to be you, and people will buy you. Okay, that's why I totally believe in having you as a forefront, your picture on your Facebook page, your pictures at the end of your email, you, your a picture of you on your website, an intense bio of who you are, why you're in this industry, a short three minute video of why you wanted to do this in the first place and what connects your heart to your camera. Okay, all of that is so important. You are the face of your brand. And don't, don't, I need, you have to like grab that. Even though it intimidates you, even though it freaks you out, even though you hate being in front of the camera, you have to turn that camera around and start taking shots of yourself, getting your personality in front of your client. I, video is huge, man. Video is the wave of the future. People want to connect with you on a personal level. So give them you. Okay. So that's like my biggest piece of advice at this moment in your next step in, in, in your photography world. Okay. And you might even be a photographer. You might have been a photographer for years and, and thought, no, I'm just cool. Kind of just just hiding behind my Facebook page and my emails and my text messages and my website and I just kind of don't want to be the forefront of my business. Well, here's the deal. It, photography is a commodity. I'm going to say it again, which means everybody everywhere is shooting right now. Okay, it's not like back in the day when we used to have these amazing photographers that had these insanely awesome cameras, sixteen, seventeen thousand dollar cameras that had those medium format film in it that were super expensive and you only had like 10 shots on each film and you couldn't just turn the camera around and look and see what kind of exposure you had. You just had to know it. You had to shoot it well the first time, you know. That was an art form then, and it still is an art form in a different way, but that is different. Those photographers and the way that they shot, I mean, they were the face of who they were and they were just excellent in what they did. We live in a time now where every any artist can pick up a camera and just let their creative spirit soar. There's a new medium now in the camera industry that is now available to anybody. Whereas back in the day, it wasn't. You weren't going to sell your car to get a camera and get into the photography industry. You weren't going to take years of classes and courses to understand how your camera works. Now it's different. Now you can. Now you can just YouTube how to become a photographer and watch how to do it, right? But what I want you to do is get back into that old photographer's mindset. Okay, and that's ultimately where I learned. I learned under those masters of photography. I started photography with a Canon Rebel film in 1997, which is like forever ago, forever ago. So I just, I want to get photography back to the excellence of what it was. Okay, and so this thought of just, let me take these pictures, burn them on a CD and just give them to you because I don't really know how to edit my images and all I know is how to throw a couple presets on there in Lightroom and just burn it onto this disc or 
and send it to you in an email and here just pay me $250. I want to get away from that and I want to just bring the beauty and the art form and excellence of photography back into this industry. And I just want you to see it that way because really, if you can learn to tap into that more ancient art form of in-person sales or just being the face of your brand, um, being you as the forefront of your business, that is what's gonna set you apart from all the other photographers that are in this industry now. You will set yourself apart and it doesn't matter if you think of yourself as the greatest photographer or the worst photographer ever. You have to feel confident in your ability, confident in who you are. And if you don't, then figure out a way to do that, okay? If you're not confident in your skill, then you're not gonna portray that as the face of your business. If you're not confident in your skill, then get confident in that. Creative Live. Start tapping into creativelive.com. Okay, if you don't know what that is, it's an amazing platform. They're out of Seattle. They have amazing photographers that go on and talk all about everything photography. They also do just business stuff and art stuff and speaking stuff, how to gain confidence in the way that you speak. I mean, it's awesome. Um, Creative Live, tap into that. Find photographers that you just love and tap into who they are and what makes them tick and how their business works and start learning from them. Um, start an, a, an idea board. Get a Pinterest board going and start just pinning images that you love. And not just from photographers now, but start pinning pictures from old photographers from a hundred years ago, like the original photographers for Vogue, like Irving Penn. Irving Penn, one of my favorite black and white photographers. I loved what he did for Vogue when they first came out a hundred years ago. Um, tap in, start, then go back from there to, to the old masters of the, the painters, you know, Rembrandt, Van Gogh, all these painters that really had an eye for art. I mean, they were the original photographers there. Back when a photography camera didn't exist, they were doing photography in the art world. They were painting what they saw, and it was just a beautiful man. Oh, I love when I go back home to the Twin Cities, I go to the art museums, and I just, like, just stare at these images, these huge life-size paintings, and you'll look at it and you'll think, oh my word, that's like a preset. That tone, those darks, those rich tones in that painting, I can do that. I want to do that. That is where my creativity comes from. And then you, then I go into Photoshop and I start playing around with the tones and the curves and the color palettes and I start changing things around and turning them into me, into Nicole Elliott. Because I did the, I did the back end work of filling my mind with all the art that really speaks to my spirit, all the photography that speaks to my heart and even things like the color palette in the skies, man. Learn from the sunset. Sunsets will like enrich your art palette inside of you so that when now you go into Photoshop or you whatever platform you use to create your art with your pictures, now you have a more rich um, creative spirit that has been fed because you've now looked and just fed that spirit with creativity so that when you sit down and when you actually edit something, there's a big well of creativity to draw from. Does that make sense? Okay. So then now as you do that, that's what creates the uniqueness of who you are. That's what creates you. I wish I knew your name so that I could say your name. Okay? Your name is valuable. Who you are is valuable. Okay? These artists of old and the photographers that you admire now, their name is valuable. They are the, at the forefront of their branding, the forefront of their business because it's who they are that has created the value of their photography business. And that's you right now. 
there's value in who you are. Don't just say, well, I'm just going to like, these pictures are pretty and I'm just, this is what I'm going to throw up there and hope that somebody just comes to me. That's just not how it works. I want you to have a valuable business uh, that means something not only to you, but to the people that see it. Okay. So you are the forefront of your, of your brand. You are the face of your brand. You are what sets you apart. If you just don't get anything out of this, what, 15, 16 minute video today, get that, that you are the face of your business and sell yourself, sell yourself, okay? Sell the uniqueness of who you are um, and don't be afraid of who you are because who you are is amazing, okay? That's all I got. That was good. That kind of took a different direction than what I wanted it to go. But if you stuck around this long, I'm glad you did because I think that that's super valuable information. Um, stay tuned. I've got lots of other videos. Um, you know, in this specific video, more so than any others, I would love for you guys to comment below. I would love to hear your fears and what holds you back from being the face of your brand. What is holding you back from thinking that you are unique and you are valuable and you are worth somebody investing money into? What are those limiting beliefs that you have in your, in your mind? And I'd just love to start a dialogue with you about that. So just comment below and we'll just, in commenting and in getting that out and in just scripting that, chances are somebody else is thinking the same thing and it will release them to just release that fear inside of them too. So let's just kind of help each other out through this video because that would just be so amazing. Um, check out the other videos, share the video, like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, all of that fun stuff because I just want to pour out what is in me into you. Okay, have a great day. See you next time.